Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we have had this discussion in various uh, forms over the many years. Uh, the reality is that abortion has existed from the earliest time because sometimes pregnancies are unplanned and unwanted despite the best efforts of individuals to prevent a pregnancy from occurring. When abortions were illegal, and I remember that, I re remember young women, friends, who were disappeared by their families to go off somewhere, not to finish their high school days because they were unmarried and they were pregnant and there was no abortion available, no safe, legal abortion available. Other women who were wealthy enough or whose families were well connected enough simply sent them somewhere in Europe or wherever where they could get an abortion or if they were friends with a doctor who would do the abortion for them. The issue is that poor women, young women, have always been the most disenfranchised. And when people talk about women making this decision, a difficult decision for some, and for some not so difficult, because it is for them a personal catastrophe on many levels. We in this state have made a decision that someone's economic status should not make them, should not force them to proceed with a pregnancy that is either unwanted or dangerous to them. And if anyone thinks that pregnancy, well, just, you know, she's 14, let her have the child. Pregnancy is not a risk-free condition. And it certainly is not emotionally risk-free for a youngster. Well, parents should be notified. Well, sometimes the parent is responsible for the pregnancy. This is a debate we have because women get pregnant. If men were subject to pregnancy, we would never, ever be having this debate. Not this year, not 20 years ago, not 50 years ago. This is only a debate because women and their bodies are still subject to the discussions that happen in bodies, legislative bodies, that are overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly dominated by men. Now, there certainly are women who are opposed to abortion. And for anyone who's opposed to abortion, don't have one but do not codify in law and do not deny simply because of economic status the ability for a woman and force a woman to carry a child to term against her will. What crime, what crime has a woman committed? This should not be subject to polls from CNN or USA Today. I urge that this amendment be defeated soundly. Thank you.